Hello everybody, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and I am here for your March 2019 reading Pisces. Hello there, darling. Um, so if you are a first time subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. Please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing if you hear something that you like. Um, return frequent flyers. Strap in, honey. We're going on another ride. Welcome aboard, darlings. Um, so, guys, uh, this is for Pisces, okay? Um, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2019. If you do not, if this does not resonate with you, Please look at your uh, moon and or rising sign as I put them up um, to see if there's a little bit more clarification to be had. All right, guys. So I've almost laid your star child tarot cards here. This is going to be a general reading, not necessarily any particular topic. So let's get into some things, okay? So I am using the Star Child Tarot deck on the bottom of the deck so you can see. Oh, I forget. I've got Card Cam down here. Card Cam. Okay, Card Cam. The higher font. Um, that's Taurus Energy uh, and Akashic Records as well. And also on the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Swords. And I have the Three of Cups as well. So I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling about this bottom of the deck energy here. Um, this is a trying time for you guys. Uh, this is a time of examination of all of the things that you've ever believed about yourself or anybody else. We have a lot of like very uh, interesting energies that are coming into play during this month of March Pisces. We have Mercury Retrograde starting on the 5th going through the 28th, I believe. If I'm wrong, don't shoot me. Um, but basically for the most for the majority of the month, we have a new moon coming in as well, I believe, on the 5th. We have full moon, um, the last of the three, the trilogy of the full moons. I think this is the, I mean, uh, there will be a lunar eclipse also happening. Anyway, um, this full moon on the 19th should be the, also the last lunar eclipse uh, of, the, of 2019. This is going to be... Uh, a little nuts mercury retrograde is trying to force uh, Pisces force this energy of hey things just work out this is the closure of things I'm not really pushing I'm getting all of the now I'm reaping all of the benefits of everything that I've sown and um, that's the Piscean energy right I just know that I know that I know that I know and mercury is like let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go so it's good because it should make you examine some things. It could be a little testing and trying because, and I'll say this to all the signs, because I don't want you to just jump off and do something that you really shouldn't be doing. So the higher fun is saying, stay strong, right? Stay strong, stay steadfast. Um, but also examine your Akashic records. Really do some past life regression if you can. Um, really get some energetic or past life readings from from those of us that do them um get some energy work dig up those roots march is a good week uh month for digging up roots and we've got the four of swords because that's going to bring you peace and it should bring you a time of celebration with the three of cups so let's get into the rest of this reading here as we see it um coming into the month we have um, the Knight of Crystals. This is the energy that's coming towards you. Um, saying the Knight of Crystals is like the Knight of Pentacles. Saying, please, my dear Pisceans, tread carefully. You guys typically do tread carefully. Do not let the Mercury retrograde energy force your hand to move faster, make a quicker decision, what have you then you feel deep down in your gut that you want to make. Um, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. Oh, forget card cam. Star seed comes out as a clarifier on that. Um, 
you're feeling much more, I think those that are awake and going through their awakening, going through their ascension process, Pisces, you're not feeling like you belong, yeah? You're not feeling like you belong in this world, around this world, by this world. You're just not feeling like you belong. And because you don't feel like you belong, it's neat. You, and that's, that's the right way to feel because you kind of don't, right? You're kind of a soul from a different generation, a different time, a different era. It's okay to feel like that. It's okay to be that. It's okay to own it. That's why it's very important to go back to the Akashic Records and begin to kind of question while holding faith. Question some of the tenants you've held so near and dear to your heart and that perhaps you shouldn't be holding so near and dear to your heart any longer, my dear. And then let go of them and build up new faith, okay? This is also a great time for manifestation as well with the star seed. Everything, card, everything is possible, okay? But be careful what you plant because it's going to have very deep ramifications going forward from here but again back to the not belonging you're kind of in this world but not of this world you're being pushed and pulled and everything else it's how you're supposed to feel it's okay just tread carefully the energy you're bringing in is the nine of swords piscians you've been up late at night you've been up worrying you don't understand what's happening here things have been moving far and away much faster than you wanted them to with the oppression card, which in this deck is the devil card, you've been releasing a lot of toxicity or there's toxicity you're becoming aware of, perhaps even your own behavior that you're like, I've really like screwed up things in certain ways and you're really ready to release it with the two of crystals. You've, it's like you've been balancing the light and the dark side of yourselves. You've been balancing this trip, this journey through the dark night of the soul almost as some deep seated, deep rooted ideas about yourself and others are being um basically thrown in the light and made and you're being forced to examine them things that you felt so so for sure and certain about holy cats not so much anymore right and you're like this has really not been good for me this has really not been good for me and I got to really look at things and say, maybe I need to switch some stuff up, but I don't really like change. That higher font energy still comes in. I don't really like change. So you've been doing this walk, this balance of trying to balance light and dark. And now you got to let it go. It's time. You got to release it in order to move forward. Right? Um, watching out. Things to watch out for. Or energy to watch out for the three of crystal, which normally should be a good one. Partnership, right? But be very careful. Oh. Be very careful. Yeah. Be very careful with the eight, with the three of crystals and eight of cups. This is what I'm hearing in this sense of the word. Don't be so quick to just cut somebody to the core. Don't be so quick to just leave somebody out of this equation don't be so quick to like cut the um to cut the relationship off piscians don't be so quick to, for to cut the partnership off because i feel the partnership is really meant yeah this partnership is going to have a rebirth with the ace of crystals at the bottom of the deck and it's really it this is a partnership that's going to be it should be long lasting. You just got to ride March out. This is like a meant to be partnership with the emperor. This is a meant to be thing. And you guys are going to go through some things with the six of swords, but you're traveling down the same path. And here you very well are with the king of cups. Like be in your energy, but don't cut them out. Do not. I, the, so watch out for this impetus. This like, I got to cut them out of my life. Don't do it. All right. Next, we have the Three of Swords. And right after that, we have the Three of Wands and the Knight of Wands. 
this is what I'm seeing with the Three of Swords coming right behind this energy here with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. There's been some disappointment that you've had with this partner, or there's going to be some disappointments. This is really how you're going to be feeling. I get it. Um, this is going to be some self-disappointment, disappointment in them. You've put a lot of hard work into this partnership. You don't want to see it go by the wayside. It feels like they potentially are using and abusing you. This could be a business partnership. This could be a romantic relationship, but you just don't feel, uh, you don't feel appreciated. And here we go again. Now, this could very well be an Aries because the Emperor has now come out again. But whatever this is, is very much a leader in the situation. Like, so this could be a business partner that owns controlling interest. Um, or maybe you came into partnership with this person after they had already begun their business. This is the leader in the partnership. You're not the leader in the partnership. And I think there's some of this you're beginning to resent because you're not opening up your mouth. You're not using your voice. You have to say what you want. You have to say how you're feeling. If your intuition is saying we shouldn't make this deal, then don't make the deal. If you, It could be a boss in the same way. Um, it could be your partner that really doesn't let you use your voice. But however this is, you're not feeling like you can use your voice and you're very disappointed in both yourself and the other person. But here we have the two of swords. You have to make a decision here. Are you going to open up your mouth and use your intuition, your intellect and all of that and like really put put forth some energy into this and let them see and know your value or are you going to keep your mouth shut and be disappointed because and angry and then during this month actually end up saying screw off I don't need you I'm out of here so you have that option you're going to have to make the decision but Pisceans this is really on you you're going to have to speak up and be bold and not just kind of swim away and think well they'll come find me because this time they're not going to <clears throat> you may not be able to repair this relationship all right potential outcome and advice from what we're seeing here the three uh we have the three of wands right and then we also have the knight of wands so this is a very hopeful ship coming in like you really felt very strongly like this was an awesome and amazing you know option for you so don't let it not be an amazing option for you let it still be this is hopeful this is i think this was good and it was a good thing when you first got very passionate about it this is going to um it's really going to blossom it's really going to bring you abundance you know it's going to start paying off but you have to follow and quickly like follow your first mind and follow it quickly i understand we said be careful but be careful what you manifest be careful what you speak over the situation. Choose your words wisely, but f always follow your heart quickly. Choose your words wisely, but follow your heart quickly. If you catch that thought that really is your your real self, um, if you catch that thought before it like really drops down into your brain and if your brain starts saying, oh, no, no, we can't do this. And then you catch that thought beforehand. Oh, boy. Then you can follow your heart because it'll drop down in your heart and you can be like, oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. Okay. So follow your heart. I'm going to pull a couple of the, what do we have here? The Archangel Power Tarot. So we're going to pull just a couple of those. Yeah, and here we go. Yep. Yeah, this is awesome. So we have the Knight of Gabriel. Which is like the Knight of Wands. We just had this. Confident, enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. It's time to take action, Pisceans. Great passion for a cause. And hold on to that. Instinctively knowing just what to do. Your instinct is going to kick in in a high gear and you're going to know what to do. Don't 
speak first feel and let your let your instinct speak for you and then we have the ten of Michael which I believe is the ten of swords a situation has ended and you are finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you so let those past things go dig into your akashic records if you need some help with that you can work with me my information is down below you can work with another energy worker if you wish um but get back into that past life get back into that um those those residual energies that are holding on from generations and let's pluck those out the negative ones so you can go forward and go free okay also guys please do not forget um check out my website heartofinspiration.net and there's a link down below to be able to register for the conference propel into purpose we're going to talk about a lot of these things get you reiki tuned or you can go through our holistic healing course um, we're going to talk about self-healing techniques, energy healing techniques, and others, or triage. Oh my gosh. So very much starting your business, all that kind of great stuff. So feel free to reach, to check that out and, um, you know, email me as well. All my information is down below. So I would love to see you April 12th through the 14th right here in Madison, Wisconsin. All right, guys, until next time, Pisces, have a wonderful birthday month. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye.